We'll return live to Las Vegas for more of ABC's Wide World of Sports right after this message from our local stations. Have a smile, have a smile. Give something to the people. <laughs> Well, here, caught your hands tail. What is it? Hey. All right. Listen, you got the choice of the corner. Take any corner. You there he the is, corner? Charles Sonny Liston. Blue robe, he'll be wearing blue trunks. I talked about him earlier in the show. The baleful stare, the scary training camp the medicine ball into the belly and all the rest. He had a left that looked so long it could have been a lamppost and it seemed just as hard and the right was thunderous. And the whole image changed, curiously, in Miami Beach on a February night in 1964 when he sat on a stool. It was reversed apparently forever. In May of 1965 in Lewiston, Maine, when felled in the first round by an apparently invisible punch. Now that's the opponent tonight or this afternoon, as you will, Leotis Martin of Philadelphia. Martin, 35 fights. He has won 30 of them. He is not a bad fighter. He has lost some important ones, the most important one being in Houston in August of 67. First round, WBA elimination tournament. Fight stopped in the ninth round. Ellis had cut him inside the mouth in the early going. It impeded his breathing. They had to stop the fight. And he should be a good trial horse in determining how much Liston has left. There you see some of the figures. Actually, Liston weighed in today at 219. Martin did weigh in at 199. I came out here, quite frankly, expecting to find an old man in Liston. But he is in the best condition I have seen him in since I watched him train at the White Cliffs of Plymouth for the hernia fight. That's what we came to call it in boxing. The fight between him and Ali that never took place in right, Boston because Ali was struck down by a hernia and had to be operated on, you'll remember. The Lewiston fight came after that. Jackie Fields. Ring announcer, G. L. Bitto, has just announced Jackie Fields. He is undefeated, 21 fights, 21 knockouts from Fresno, California. The sensational heavyweight knockout artist, Mac Foster, who challenges the winner of tonight's fight. This young man is supposed to be a real good man. Mac Foster. With us also Doyle Baird, the number four ranking middleweight contender who will meet Emil Griffith in January. He held Nino Benavenuti to a draw. Doyle Baird. Exactly so. Baird is the man who fought Benvenuti to a draw. Like you meet the number one ranked welterweight contender in the world who will meet Jose Napoli for the title February 14th. Indian Red Lopez. And we would like you to meet Las Vegas' own junior middleweight champion, Freddie Little. Freddie Little, who had some troubles of his own overseas and about. The memories of which were still there when I was in Rome two weeks ago. We're getting ready for the start of this bout, so quickly, let's review the scoring. Five-point must system per round, mandatory eight count, three knockdowns in a round does not end this fight. That rule waved they're behaving as if it's a championship fight, and indeed there's a newly created it North American event, Boxing Federation that says well, this is for the North American title, whatever that means. Mike Kaplan. Introducing from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing 199 pounds, the number three ranked heavyweight in the world, Leotis Martin. Martin. Martin's number three rated by the and WBA. And from Las Vegas, weighing 219 and a half pounds, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Charles Sonny Liston. Mike Kaplan, as you heard the referee. Three judges will score this fight. The judges are Art Laurie, Mike Petrovich, and Ralph Most. Send them. I'll do not come out until I tell you to come out. Is that understood? Otherwise, I'll stop the count. Is that understood to both of you? are looking at the referee, Protect Mike. Protect yourself Kaplan. at all times. Remember that now. Good luck to both of you.
52 fights listings had 149, 38 by knockout. Dick, Dick Sadler, the key man in Liston's corner, the bell, round one underway. Sonny is wearing white, not blue trunks. He has changed since the white. These two men sparred together for many years. Martin was once a sparring partner of Liston's, as Ellis was of Muhammad Ali's. They know each other's styles very well. The task for Martin is to stay away. Ali showed that by circling steadily and swiftly to the left, thus nullifying the Liston left hook. All right, step up. What do you do? Tight up. We're a minute in and round one. Sonny Liston in the white trunks, Leotis Martin in the green. Small ring may have an effect on this bout. 17 feet, five inches. Liston can stalk, as is his style. Martin must stay away and must get his in from semi-distance or full distance. A warning there for a low blow against Leotis. All right, let's get out. Come on, get out. Right hand lead by Martin caught Liston on the ear. All right, let's move out. Let's move out. Come on, watch your head now. Watch your head and move out. Sonny is obviously the aggressor in this round. We have 30 seconds left in round one. Sonny Liston against Leotis Martin, Las Vegas, Nevada. Schedule 12 round. Fifteen seconds left. We're back for round two. Sonny Liston against Leotis Martin. First round, Liston was the aggressor, but then that's the way Martin's going to have to fight. He's going to have to stay away and get his jabs in and his hooks. We had to leave you for a commercial oh, yes, just before the last on, bell. Boy, there was a second caution by referee Mike Kaplan to Leotis Martin, his second in the round. First one was for a low blow. So for that matter was the second. Also for holding. Liston against Leotis Martin coming to you live and in color on ABC's Wide World of Sports, direct from the International Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. ABC Sports began the day, we think, magnificently because of the magnificence of the Texas-Arkansas game, the whole event enhanced by the presence of the President of the United States. The Longhorns now rated number one in the nation. Thus far, the action in this fight has hardly been stirring.
Sonny keeps stalking, looking for the opening. Martin knows Sonny's style, like a book. He's going to be careful, hoping that Liston will tire and that he'll be able to take charge later on. Just a couple of weeks ago, Martin fought Roger Russell in Philadelphia, won a hard-earned decision. Had a borderline knockdown, he insisted it wasn't. Martin did in the first round. He went down. Martin in green, sunny in white. Martin got out of what might have been a trap form against those ropes. 15 seconds left in this, the second round. Bell for the end of round two. We follow Sonny Liston to his corner. That's Dick Sadler, his manager, and also the manager of George Foreman. As I said when I interviewed Dick in the ring, along with George after George's victory, a seasoned boxer. <laughs> That's Jimmy the Greek you're looking at. You know who he is. The famed odds maker. The man who sets the spread on all the games, and it's legal here in Nevada, but his odds usually govern the whole country. We're back with Sonny Liston now, and he's not looking at Jimmy the Greek. He's looking at his trainer. And I should tell you that Jimmy the Greek has made mistakes, and I've gone right along with them. The Baltimore Colts over the New York Jets. We're looking at Leotis Martin now in his corner, our Quinzelli McCall, his trainer, and Penny Schaefer, his manager. Bell for the start of round three. That left flicked in there. Didn't hurt, but that flicked in there. Still looks awfully long when you're at ringside. Joe Frazier was supposed to be here. He was supposed to open up a showbiz date on the strip. He had something else in Miami and never did make it here. Martin's flicking away with that left and moving, steadily moving. He got the right in against my... Oh, a good left by Sonny then. Didn't hurt Martin, but it was a good, clean score. Liston's led a whole new life out here in Las Vegas, which is his home now. Crowd got excited over a Martin left to the midsection. It scored, but did not hurt. He's become very popular out here. Liston has. Minute 15 to go, and this is the third round. Sonny Liston in the white, Leotis Martin in the green. Scheduled 12 rounder, allegedly for the North American Championship as created by the North American Boxing Federation, but that's nonsense and you all know. This is a fight so far strictly of left jabs. Crowd boos an apparent low blow by Leotis Martin, whereupon Jackie Leonard talks about water on the knees. Jack should have been at the Muhammad Ali George Shavala. He would have really seen him. There! Liston hurt him with the left, but Liston let him out of the corner. He had him pinioned in the corner and might have been able to do the job if he had kept him there. 
End of round three, and thank heaven we are having three-minute rounds. We're going to follow the other smart... No, Sonny. Join the Sonny's corner. I'll get the mouthpiece. Now, Leotis Martin, let's take a look at him and see if there's any visible sign of fatigue or hurt in his face. No, he's a pretty tough cookie. Having trouble getting into him cleanly with his men working on him, which is understandable. These Philadelphia fighters are always testing fighters. <laughs> yeah, he looks perfectly fine. Although he was shaken by that left of Liston's. And there's the bear. Charles Sonny Liston. Sammy Davis is yelling, I'm late, Sonny. Let's end it now. The bell for round four. Left got in quickly. Thus far, strictly a left jab contest. All right, let's get out. Come on, get tight now. Move out, move out, move out. <laughs> I'm chuckling because of Jackie Leonard behind me. We're almost a minute into round four. So far, although Sonny has an apparent edge in the scoring, he has not been able to level Leotis. Note that Leotis keeps moving to his left. Exactly what Muhammad Ali did. Of course, Martin lacks the physical skills that Ali enjoyed. We have a minute and a half left in round four. The Otis Martin in the green trunk, Sonny Liston in the white. This is not meant critically. Believe me, it's not. One has to wonder what the Liston of 1962, September, who demolished Floyd Patterson in the first round, would have done. But then Patterson came into him. Martin has been smart enough to stay away. Minute left in this round. Sometimes he fights him from half distance, Martin does, and sometimes from full. Oh, there it was. It was overdue. The left hook got in there squarely, just off the side of the chin, and down went Leotis. First knockdown of the fight. It occurred with more than two minutes gone in the fourth round, and now Sonny can sense it. He wants it, and he wants it fast. He's got 30 seconds left in this round, and he's got Martin hurt and wobbling. The leg's slightly rubbery, and he's got him against the ropes. Just 10 seconds left in the round. Sonny will not do it in this round. standard Liston variety. There it is again. We're going to show it to you right now. Watch this. Keep watching that left hook will be coming. There it was, off the right, the first left hook of the fight. Down he went. We're back live and you're looking at Leotis Martin as we await the start of the fifth round. 
Sonny in command definitely in the scoring. And Sonny wishing he could have ended it the last round, but this is another round. And we'll see how much is left in Leota Smart. Martin is a fighter who fights according to the opponent. Against Ellis, who made much of the fight because he was not respectful at that time of Ellis's power as compared with fighting a fighter like Liston, where he is enormously respectful of the power. And so in this fight, his task has been to stay away. He did until the fourth round when he got caught by that left cut. It was a good right by Sonny. But you see Martin dancing away, circling steadily to the left in an effort to nullify that left jab of Liston's, which must be looking longer and longer and longer. He has Martin against the ropes. Now's the chance to do it. He's, he led him away from the ropes. Ten and a half left in the round. Liston wants to win this fight convincingly to establish the merit of his comeback. It's the most testing opponent he's faced during the course of his comeback trail. According to the WBA, Martin rates number three. Sammy Davis is crying because of an apparent low blow by Leotis Martin against Liston. Martin rated number three in the WBA and number five was Sonny Liston. The Ring Magazine ratings read different. Rate Liston higher than Martin. Forty-five seconds left in the fifth round. Jackie Leonard's lines may be better show. Ten seconds left. We're back at ringside. In color, live. Liston against Martin on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the start of round six. Leotis Martin in the green trunks and Charles Sonny Liston in the white trunks. Liston dominating the bout. One knockdown thus far. That came in the fourth round, a little past the two-minute mark. A mandatory eight count registered against Martin. A left hook put him down. First left hook of the fight. Left jab is getting in there more and more now, and as I said, must be looking longer and longer to Leotis. Sonny's stalking and stalking. Once again, live and in color on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Sixth round, Liston against Mark. Ooh. 
Sammy Davis sitting next to me with the camera is taking pictures, but in the light of the action that we're presently not witnessing, I wonder what he's getting. Sonny landed with the left, but it was on Martin's arm. We have 35 seconds left in the sixth round. Twenty-five seconds left. Sonny wanting desperately to put him away, but Sonny beginning to look more tired in his efforts. We're back at ringside in Las Vegas, Nevada. Sonny Liston, White Trunks, Leotis, Martin, Green Trunks. We're beginning the seventh round. The fight is more than half over. One knockdown, in case you just joined us, came past the two-minute mark of the fourth round. A crunching left hook by Liston, Floyd, Leotis, Martin. Otherwise, the fight, quite candidly, has been a series of left jabs, mainly by Liston. He's been dominating the action. But I would have to say, in fairness, Yes, you can fight everything, but age. Because Sonny does not look quick. Does not look like the fighter whom we remember eight years ago. Key fight for him if he's to keep on the comeback trail. We're about a minute ten into the seventh round. This fight, as you know, is a scheduled 12 rounder, not a 15 rounder. A scheduled 12 rounder. Dick Sadler, Liston's manager, is pounding on the ring apron, yelling, the right after the left, the right after the left. Sonny has scored with two good lefts within the past 20 seconds or so. But the combinations don't seem to be there as once they were. Crowd totally in favor of Sonny. See the rundown on the clock before you. We're inside the 30-second mark as the 20s run down. Seventh round. Oh, he's got him. He hurt him. He hurt him then. But the left and the right. The head bent over. as the clock begins to run out. Again, back live at ringside, Las Vegas, Nevada. ABC's Wide World of Sports, bringing you in color, Sonny Liston against Leotis Martin. This is the start of the eighth round. Sonny, of course, in the white trunks, Leotis in the green. Sonny. My scoring and all other official scores at ringside completely dominating the action. On his way, apparently, to winning a decision, but desperately he wants a knockout. He wants a convincing win to establish that he is truly on the comeback trail. He did floor Martin in the fourth round with a left hook, but couldn't put him away. Sonny's left is 
totally dominating the action. Or at least has been up till now. Martin is not dancing as steadily as he was in the earlier rounds. You'll notice that. He's standing more flat-footedly. But then Liston isn't stalking as effectively as he did in the early rounds. So fatigue or stamina, as you will, becomes a factor. Got him in the corner, but he's not doing much with him. Trying to measure him then, you saw that, and level him, but couldn't do it. We have about 50 seconds, as you see. opened over his nose it reminds me of that day in Miami Beach when suddenly Muhammad Ali opened his face and he tasted his own blood Sonny is spitting blood the end of round 8 by all odds Leotis Martin's best round as Liston begins to show major signs of fatigue Sudden turnabout in this fight. There's Sonny quickly. They go to work on that nose. And Leotis Martin, as I said, a Philadelphia fighter. Tough, scrapping, and knowledgeable. We are looking at him now. He survived the knockdown. He's been on the fighting beat for a long time. In effect, the pro beat for eight years. Liston, they work on his nose over in his corner. That happened with startling suddenness. Martin came in with a left and caught him and followed with a right. Martin will try to go to work on it immediately. is coming down again that's not an easy cut for Sonny to cope with because that blood goes into the mouth it impedes the breathing and of course it's a brutal and ugly sight Sonny's fighting back virtually snorting blood Using the left to keep Martin away. That long, long left. Martin playing it really. For a tired fighter, quite cool. Fighting from the distance. Looking for the spot. Not wanting to expose himself. There, the right by Martin. Oh! Liston is knocked down with the right and then the left. And he is knocked out. This fight will be over, and with it, Charles Sonny Liston's career. The ninth round. It happens at about 2.12 into the ninth round. And I'm going up into the ring. They have not yet revived Sonny Liston. You look at him there now. I will stay at ringside momentarily. I 
You see Liston and they are struggling to revive him. He You see Liston as they struggle to revive him. A compelling, crushing knockout will return live. No. All right. No commercial now. We'll keep talking. I'm going into that ring. Now, I must tell you very directly and very honestly, Leotis Martin is not a talker, but the young man deserves to express his emotions in the wake of a victory like this one. Up we go. Of the ninth round, Leotis Martin. Leotis. Leotis. As I stand in the ring with Leotis Martin, waiting to talk with him, come on over if you will, Leotis. Congratulations to you on a crushing, compelling knockout victory. We're on camera now, Leotis. Look into that camera. And incidentally, I want the folks to know that they are still trying to revive Sonny Liston. Simply a crushing knockout, Leotis, when it appeared he was going to win the fight. Well, I thought I was boxing. Hey, first I want to say hello to my wife and my kids, Leo, Junior, and Julian. My sister and brother, thanks for being with me. And another friend of mine, Les Schaefer, who then came up, wanted to be him to come make it. All right, you've said hello to everybody. You were getting beaten. You realize that for the first six or seven rounds. He was out pointing. Well, uh, I figure. Even. Your man is thinking. Thinking says even. Even fight, Vicky. Stay on looking. But, what? Charles, Sonny Liston has just gotten up. Let's let's talk to Sonny for a minute too, Leotis. Champ. Dick. <laughs> oh, here is a what? What is the cup? A cup. North American. The North American Boxing Federation is presenting a cup to Leotis for his victory. Well, all right. Thank you very much. And again, Leotis, congratulations to you. If you'll forgive me, what, what are your plans now? Whom do you want to fight? I would like to fight Frazier. This is my ambition. You have always felt that you could beat Frazier. You're both Philadelphia fighters, you know. Right. And uh, that would be a natural sellout in Philadelphia, either in New York. I would like to fight Frazier next. It may be a possibility of that. We'll return live to Las Vegas for more of ABC's Wide World of Sports right after this message from our local stations. I tell him I'm, tell him I'm with Sonny. I've got Sonny. We're back live in the ring, as you can see, with Charles Sonny Liston. And Sonny, quite frankly, most scorers had you well ahead when suddenly the knockout came. Yes, it did. What, uh, what happened? Well, if I know that, maybe it wouldn't happen. In any event, Sonny, what do you feel now? Are you going to continue to fight, or are you going to pack it in? Well, it's hard to say. You haven't made a decision on it. Obviously, it's been very quick. Yeah. But... The cold fact is it will be harder than ever, Sonny, to go all the way up the trail after this defeat. Yes, it would. But I have to tank it over here. Uh, all right, Sonny. I don't think it's right to hold you any longer. Thank you very much for coming on with us, okay. and good luck to you. We're going to show you the knockout blow once again as Sonny Liston leaves us, and we'll be doing that when we come back in just one moment. We're back once again, live in the ring with Leotis Martin, who knocked out Charles Sonny Liston, as you saw. Suddenly, abruptly, completely, crushingly, it took more seconds than we had time to count to revive Sonny, who just appeared with us and who says that he doesn't know yet whether he'll retire. But Leotis, I think it's time for you to look on the television monitor at the way you, uh, the way you knocked out Sonny Liston. And as we pick up the action, it'll be about a minute till the knock. See, Sonny is still jabbing you. Yeah, that, that, that was it. Right left hook. Right. right hand, left hook. Right, right hand, set it up. What a knockout. There was a, just a quiver of movement there as his head changed position. 
and that was it. And I, I think I'm ready for a tower shot. I'm on Fraser. Uh, either the other to come out and give me a fight. Uh, Thank you. Certainly the best knockout you've ever scored. Sure you are. Again, congratulations to you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Well, I wonder if you'd leave our camera view and sell the scene in ringside as Leotis Martin, who it seemed to most bystanders was on the way to a loss. There's the fight again on your television screens. Watch this now. We're coming up close to it. Sonny, this is videotape, of course. There! Oh! What a series of combinations. You're again looking at Sonny Liston. There was that instant quiver, the change of head position. And that's the way it was. Charles Sonny Liston knocked out. And we're going to be back again from Las Vegas, Nevada in just one moment. We're back in the ring at Las Vegas, Nevada in the famed showroom of the International Hotel where we've just seen another crushing knockout. Two weeks ago in Italy, in Rome Sport Palace, I saw Luis Rodriguez, apparently in command of about, suddenly fall prey to a punishing left hook by Nino Benvenuti, and it took many, many seconds for Rodriguez to be revived. In this fight, Sonny Liston was the apparent leader, and then in the ninth round, past the two-minute mark, crushingly, abruptly, Sonny Liston's boxing career came to an apparent end. And uh, I, I'm reminded, really, of when Patterson knocked out Johansson on June 20th, 1960, that was a terrorizing knockout. Robinson against Gene Fulmer and Robinson against Turpin were others. But right now, from Las Vegas, Nevada, we return you again to my colleague and good friend, Jim McKay in New York.